Hi, my name is Mark Fleming and I'm with Interactive Safety and we're here today to film this video for you to talk about the welding lens options you have as a user of our Pure Weld Powered Air Purifying Respirator. To begin with, the Pure Weld uses a large 4x5 windows and we have three lens options for you to choose from as a professional welder. First and most popular is our Jackson Next Gen Auto Darkening Filter which is found on the inside of the filter here. To access our Jackson Next Gen lens, you need to go into the helmet, turn it upside down, pinch on the retaining clamp frame, and then you can remove the lens for programming, or you can also access the lens protectors which are found on the outside of the lens. Okay, once you have the Jackson Next Gen lens removed from the helmet, you can program it uh, using the on-off key here and the range. To turn on the programming, uh, just hit the button and it'll turn itself off when you're not using it. But you can adjust here from the shade, the sensitivity, the delay, and whether you're in welding, grind, or torch mode. So right now we're in our weld mode by hitting the range key here. We can go into our number five for torching or oxyacetylene welding or we can go into our grind mode just using the lens permanently for grinding. We'll put it back in the weld mode and then we'll use our mode switch here to change the shade. Right now we're in a number 10 and you can go up to 13 and down to 9. We'll leave it set at 10. The next adjustment you can make is the sensitivity. Now we see our arrows here. There are 10 positions from 1 to 10 on the sensitivity. And that's how quick the lens will turn on and off based on the light around you. And you can adjust that to your working preference. And then last, you can also control the delay on the uh, lens on how long the lens will stay dark before it turns off. Some welds stay brighter longer if you're maybe doing aluminum or spot welding you can go from there. Okay, the lens is uh, battery powered for when the solar cell is not powering the, uh, the lens. So there's two little batteries up here which last five to 800 hours and that allows you to do your programming. If you flip the lens along, you see our big nine uh, square inch viewing area. You see the solar panel for the power when you're doing your welding and you see four sensors independent of each other that'll react when they see that flash. You want to make sure you always keep this work area clean so you can see through it and that the uh, sensors are ready to go. So that's pretty much it for our Jackson Next Gen which is our top of the line lens for our professional welder. That's our most popular lens. We also offer the Jackson Insight lens which has the same large viewing area of the uh, Next Gen it's also programmable, but it programs in a little bit different mode. This, this lens turns on the minute it sees light. And to adjust it, you sort of choose your mode, whether you want to be in grind or mode. And then you can adjust your lens shade. By just up and down on the shade switch. So if you want to adjust your delay on the lens, there's a little gas gauge on the side here, and you can see the switch go from there. We'll leave it set at three. There's a five position switch here. Also, if you want to adjust the sensitivity, there's a gas gauge on the other side from one to five, which you can adjust there, set it to your professional preference. And then the mode allows you to go into grind and weld. The big difference between these two lenses is price. This one saves you $200 but it does not have the number five for oxyacetylene cutting. Still uses our battery powered system there. Like the next gen lens, the Insight also features a nine square inch plus viewing area, the solar panel to power the lens while you're doing your welding, and four independent sensors. So while you're working on your work or changing your lenses, make sure you always keep the lens nice and clean to power your solar cell, give you a good vision, and that all your uh, sensors have access to the uh, light so they can change promptly for you. The last option you have as a welder for inside our welding helmet 
It's just a standard four by five green polycarbonate lens. And needless to say, that's the least expensive lens we offer. And uh, lenses are ready available from uh, ourselves or from your welding supplier in shades eight through 13. Fits any standard four by five bucket and is held in place by a spring system on the inside of the bucket. Okay, after you've completed your programming on your uh, next gen or insight lens, it's time to put it back in the helmet. To do so, take the lens retainer, turn it upside down, first slide in your inside lens protector for the next gen, take your lens and Remember that the programming switches go to the inside. Slide that into the case. We're set, ready to go. You also need to be aware of the fact that there's two little components right here that if you need a magnifying lens, you can slide that right into place and you're set, ready to go. Once you have that lens in the frame, take your welding bucket, turn it upside down, and you'll see there's three grooves cut in the end of the lens. Those three grooves will match up into three grooves at the top of the welding helmet. Just slide your lens into the welding helmet after you've inserted your outer cover lens. That just slides right in like so and snaps down into place. Okay, once the lens has been reinserted in the welding helmet, you're set, ready to go and go off and do your welding. So to summarize, we offer three lenses for our pure weld uh, welding respirators. The top of the line Jackson Next Gen lens, which adjusts from shades 9 to 13, plus features a shade 5 for oxyacetylene welding and cutting, and can go into a grind mode for grinding and cleaning welds. We offer the Insight lens from Jackson, which is a little more price effective, adjusts from shades 9 through 13, but does not have the number 5 and both the Jackson Next Gen and Insight lens features the ability to use magnifying lenses or cheaters for the welders. And last, most cost effective, are standard green polycarbonate lenses, which we supply in shade 10, but are readily available in any shade from your local welding supply house. Thanks for wearing Pure Flow respirators. We appreciate your business.